Hi, my name is Bella. It's May 4th, 2021, and I'm gonna go through all of my candy so far. Um, I've been making candy for maybe th four months. Sounds about right. I sell on Depop. Um, my favorite bracelets to make are probably, well, they're bracelets, and <laughs> and like those big x base rotator cuffs. I love those. Um, a lot of what I've made has been sold, which is pretty cool. Um, but what I have and what I've been traded, I'm going to be showing you guys. I guess I'll start with what I'm wearing. Um, <laughs> I didn't really mean to. Um, these are bracelets I've made to trade. I'll probably start with those first. They're just green ones. These are from the Dollar Tree. But, but they're actually good. I actually, um, I quite like the Dollar Tree beads. I think that they're pretty nice for the price. Um, you get a good amount. Uh, I'll put that in this box. This box says, for you. So if anyone sees it, they know that, oh, what are you looking at? <laughs> That's my window. Um, yeah, I make candy to trade with people. That's what goes in here. Uh, I'll finish up my other wrist real quick. These are three bracelets I've made for myself. This one says Eleanor. It's from The Good Place. It matches with my boyfriend's one that says Cheaty, because we are very much those characters. <laughs> um, this one's Beta Motel. It's a song by Crass. Uh, this is Suburban Lawns, which is a band that I really like. This one's actually pretty cute. It's got little stars. Oh, come on. I'm gonna have to do the beauty vlogger thing. Yep, Suburban Lawns. <laughs> and then this one, I know it's pretty simple, but I got it in a trade. Oh, this isn't it. I got a different one in the trade. I'll show you real quick. I can't move all you here. I got this one in a trade and then I made this one to match so I can wear them both together because they're different um, shades of green. Uh, aren't they cute? They're little tri beads. I love them. I love to mess with them. This is from a girl in Nevada named Jade and I think she is the coolest person ever. I've only ever done one flare package so far and it was with her. And it made it made my month, made my year. It was so great. Um, but yeah, so I have a matching one, so I can like, I can pile these on when I'm not wearing a lot of candy. You know, just wear tri beads. Uh, that's what that is. Okay, <clears throat> these are the ones that I've made to trade. Here's two cute ones that have my Instagram on them. Um, currently, it's Mushroom Hugger, and. I'm thinking if I ever see somebody and I want them to see my Instagram, um, I can just give them a bracelet. <laughs> I think that could be fun. Let's see. This is supposed to be in here. Um, I have ones that say you're pretty because I think it's cool that I can actually like give a compliment. Right now I have them in pink and purple. Little stars and butterflies. Um, Ooh, I'll put them on as I go. That'll be fun. You're pretty. Mushroom hugger. And then, for people I may not see again, <laughs> I have bracelets that say, we'll meet again. I've only ever given one of them away. I gave away a green one um, to a girl who I met in a Walmart who just wanted to tell me that I was pretty and then I saw her candy and I was like, oh, you want to trade? <laughs> it was so sweet. Um, and you will see what she gave me when we go through my trade and stuff. These ones say Finn and Jake. I think if any, any little nerds wanna, oops, wanna trade with me, I can just give them those, or if I have friends who want them, these are the two that I showed you, the green ones. Um, this one's pretty cute. It's a little alien. <laughs> with some kind of see-through beads, I don't know if you can tell. They're all going on my right wrist because they're for trading. <laughs> I'll see if I can put on all my other candy. That'll be that'll be a trip. Um, I love green and yeah, green and pink together. So I have these two. This one's got a little perler charm. Super cute, I think. A lot of these are made for the lower wrist, so it's kind of bulking up here. I'll, go, I'll move on to my other arm. <laughs> These are little flower ones. I only made four charms, but then I realized I needed five, so I'm trading them away. 
uh, I've got some miscellaneous perlers in here. I didn't know that I had. Um, <laughs> they just look like this. And then I have another one of the yellow ones, and then a tiny, tiny little orange flower. Isn't that cute? I'll do something with that. <laughs> these, are, these are all singles, but I promise you we're going to get to the cuffs. Like, I, I don't just make singles. Um, but I do make singles to trade. And then the rest of these, I'm kind of going... Or not yet. Not yet. Almost. Yeah, rainbow one. Another rainbow one, which I think is cute. And then this purple heart one, in case anybody really likes the color purple. And now I'm going to blow through the rest of these, because they're all pretty... Pretty nondescript. Hi, I'm getting a little bit closer. <laughs> uh, here's my pink ones. Pink. More pink. I think there was a hair on one of those, I'm sorry. Pink butterflies. Pink and black. Get a load of that. Um, I've got quite a bit of yellow. These are Dollar Tree beads. You can see those, I think they're pretty cute. They go with everything. These are some older beads I don't have anymore. And then some newer beads. My one orange bracelet. <laughs> I think it's cute, it's like macaroni and cheese. Here's purple. This one's got a little dog on it. Oops, it's supposed to be for my boyfriend's brother, um, but he left for the Navy before I could give it to him, so. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> uh, then this one's just gray. I like it. Okay. These are all the ones I've made to trade with people. And I'm constantly giving them away to people who don't even know what candy is. Like, you know, my friends and stuff. Or people I'm kind of friends with. <laughs> Be like, hi, my name is Bella. Do you want a bracelet off of my arm? Like, I'm probably too aggressive about that. But that's all of those. And now, oh, I'm excited for these. Should I save them for last? The ones that I've been traded have the most stories. So I'm going to show you. Ooh, this is a hard choice because here is the rest of my candy. And then I have some more on the floor that you can't even see. So you know what? I'll just reach in. I'm going to grab something and then we'll talk about it. Ah, this was made for a woman who likes Hello Kitty. This is my Hello Kitty candy. I'll try and put these on. <laughs> this is a cute little necklace up on my Depop. It's the Lucky Bear. I'll put that one on. Some of my necklaces are shorter. Oh, this is, um, I need to recycle this. Sometimes I take things apart. Um, and then I'll keep like bases. I'll keep the base and then I'll use it for something else. So this one's gonna be used for a big rotator cuff. Uh, it's just two different shades of green, but so much potential. <laughs> uh, this is a lighter case. Put your little lighter in there. They actually, they're really sturdy. I don't know if you... They're nice. Um, I did make that pattern myself. I mean, I'm sure other people have done it, but I figured it out myself, so I feel really smart about it. Oh, what are you stuck on? Chicken with a knife! <laughs> Yay! Um, this one says froggy lover. I do love frogs. As you will see from some of the things I've made. <clears throat> Here's a stitch one. Which I think is really cute. It's not on my Depop yet, but it will be. Yeah, some of my necklaces I've made them, like when they're smaller charms, I make them shorter. I have one customer who was like, oh, it kind of didn't fit, but I say how many beads around it is, so I would have hoped they'd check. But anyway, uh, I have a series of pride ones. I have the LGBT, like those four. So this is my lesbian pride one. It's also on my shop. Um, this is, oh, this poor thing. <laughs> this is the only carousel cuff that I've ever done. Um, it's been squished around and beaten. Um, it actually, I guess it turned out alright. I'm just not a fan. So, 
And the thing is, these are an old brand of beads that I don't buy anymore. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to recycle them. But, yeah, there they are. Eh, it's fine. Here, I'll put my bigger candy on this arm. Ha! <laughs> Uh, this is a cup I made. It's just abstract. Kind of whooshing around. I don't make a lot of flat cuffs. Oh, this is another one I'm going to recycle. Just some recycling ones. Here is some perler art I did. Not an original design. Um, although I did simplify and kind of edit it. But I think it's pretty nice. I try not to do full melts. Um, just because... One, they get really hot, and two, I kind of like the holes. Here's an abstract art that I did make. Um, I mean, I did make the design, which I think is pretty cool. It's not an uncommon idea to make stuff like that, but... You know, oh, this is one of my biggest projects. This is a belt. It's pretty cool. It's very long, and then I've got, I've got little buckles. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's made for around my waist, so it's a bit bigger. I know my waist, my like more my hips. I won't put it on because I don't have belt buckle loop things on my pants. <laughs> but it is pretty cool. This is recycled from a very cheap rosary I found. It's currently listed on my Depop. It's getting a lot of likes. I think somebody will buy it. It's cute. It's a little choker. This was a completely original design. It is... Oh, do I not have anything to show? Oh, well. This is... I'll use my cup that doesn't even fit. Come on, buddy. It was made for water bottles. This is a water bottle holder. But, of course, not made for the cylindrical type. More like when you're at a party, you get those disposable ones. I thought it'd be cute. I have a little carrying thing. It's got a star on the bottom. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's a lot sturdier than it looks. And it's got ribbon up top. So, it's pretty nice. This is more like, you know what? This is a good time to sort my candy. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is I make just to trade with people. Pastels. A lot of people I talk to like pastels. This is my rainbow cheetah print cuff, which I love very much. It's a pretty popular design. Mm -hmm. This is on my shop. It was one of the first cuffs that I made. Um, so the whole thing is pretty stretchy. This was before I realized the base is stretchy, and then this part probably isn't. But it's a UFO cuff with a Vaporeon on it. Um, also one of my first perlers. I'm going to have to start taking some of this off. Like, I gotta take this flat cuff off. I'm not putting flat cuffs on. It just won't work. <laughs> um, let's see. There we go. It's just another basic black one with the beads I don't use anymore. I'll trade that away. Oh, this one's cute. It's just a rainbow X base cuff. I like to make this rainbow design um, to trade with people or just for fun. Here's my Bi Pride from the... Oh, my hands are shaking. Bi Pride to go with the lesbian one. I'll put them together. I also have a series called Garden Friends. Um, so this is part of that. It says Mantis. You know, friends you would find in your garden. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is... My attempt at a box cuff, I kind of freehanded it, but this is pretty cool. It's a little squishy right now, but it's purple. I'm, I might redo it with something, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. But it was themed after Agatha from WandaVision. Here's Ladybug from Garden Friends. I'll put that with Mantis. This is, I'll save this for later because there's a little, little something you gotta know. This is recycling. <laughs> oh, this is um, one of those balloon weights. From, it's not really that heavy, because it's from the Dollar Tree. 
but I turned it into a necklace. It's a little choker. This one's just for me. I'm not going to sell it. Um, oh, it's a bear. <laughs> um, this one's a monarch from Garden Friends. This is Kaminari. I'm, I don't watch the anime, but my basically little sister does, um, and her birthday's coming up, so I don't think this video will be public, but in case she does see it, you're getting a Kamen, you're getting this bracelet. <laughs> uh, here's a little abstract art I did. I should have said this is Perlers too. That's a little late for that. How long have I been going? 15 minutes. I'm trying to like get through these. Todoroki, that's another one for, um, uh, for my little sister. <laughs> okay, this has to be a private video because this is, this is my pride bracelet. It says half dyke. <laughs> Based off of, um, things I've been told. Do -do -do. Gay pride. This goes with you know, lesbian, bisexual, and then all we're missing is the trans one. Here's another x base cuff I'm not a huge fan of. Um, but it's too ugly to trade away. Like, I would feel bad giving that to somebody. So, I am going to recycle it. Let's see. Oh, I'll save that for a second. Um, this is up on my Depop as well. This is my moo cuff. <laughs> it's just, you know, cow pattern. There it is going in and out of focus. Uh, I'm not putting that on. If I can find the other half of this, that's all right. But I make Baby Yoda earrings. Very popular with the older crowd. This is supposed to be a trading bracelet, but I don't know how it got in there. Wanda, which goes with my boyfriend's vision. Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Um, this one's made of Dollar Tree beads that they actually don't carry anymore, unfortunately, so it's mine. I'm not trading it. Here's a little cat single, which I'm selling on my Depop. I try not to sell too many singles, but when I do, they're in sets. Um, here's a Kuropi one from my Sanrio, one that's not a set. That was before I decided I only do sets. Rolly Poly from Garden Friends. Put that with my garden. I'm gonna have to do something about my arms soon. <laughs> this one also will eventually be recycled. It's um, one of the first cuffs I made, if not the first. I don't know if I have the first one I made. I might have taken it apart. That one's for recycling. This horrid thing uh, was supposed to be my attempt at like making up my own box cuff. Um, it's actually, it's if you take off this part, the, there's there's some insides to spare. So this is, yeah, if you, if you just ignore all the yellow, it's actually, it's a good cuff. It really is. Um, I just don't know what I was thinking. It's very heavy and it's not cute. This is my groovy one. Oops, what did I do to you? Oh, nothing. <laughs> my groovy flower cuff. Here is an eyeball perler I've been meaning to do something with. I might make a necklace, I don't know. This is Agatha to go with this purple one. This is a pink one that I really should trade away. My arm is like heavy, oof. Wonder why. Okay, Hello Kitty. This one my boyfriend made for me. I asked him to make me a bracelet because he doesn't really do that, but is this even? Aww, he made it symmetrical, I just noticed, more or less. It says I love you. It's really sweet and I love it. Uh, Vamp Girl, this goes with a cuff that you will soon see. Oh my god, I feel so panicked. This is taking 20 minutes. Here is a blue flower cuff. Oh god. <laughs> My Chemical Romance. 
Um, there's two of these, so I'll only show you one of them, but it goes with that rosary I showed you guys. It's on my neck right now. And then I actually have a Hello Kitty set on my Depop, so this goes with the Hello Kitty that I showed you. Speaking of Hello Kitty, I also make little earrings. Um, you know, little pixel kitties. Come on. There we go. She's got a little bow. I think she's cute. Um, here's another baby Yoda. This one's for trading. I don't know how it got in there. Um, it's an orangey flower cuff. B. This is part of Garden Friends. She's trash in here. Oops. Oh my god, there's so much. <laughs> I, I gotta take this off and put it in like a pile or something. Because I can't keep it all on. Sorry if you can hear any noises from outside or inside. Two little stars. I used to really like making candy stars, which is, you know, the old beads I was using. But I don't do too much of that anymore. Here's a heart single. Another one I've meant to trade. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here's one of my shorter necklaces. This is a Stormtrooper. Which I think is super cute. It's up on my Depop. It hangs right around here. I mean, you know, it's stacked a little bit from all this layering. This is quite possibly the first peyote cuff I ever made, the flat one. Um, it's a Kuropi one. I'm not even a huge fan. I just thought the pattern was so cute. Um, made of old crusty beads. I need to recycle this thing. Here's a mushroom I made. Didn't turn out too great, but the base is very sturdy. It's just the top part. <laughs> Let's see. Another one meant for recycling. Yucky. Another blue flower cup of the same kind. This goes over here. This was... Maybe my first UFO cuff? Yeah, because I have it pulled very tight, which I know now that you shouldn't do, but here it is. It's got little things around it. It's all right. It's fine. I would like to use the beads for something else. Um, here's a choker. Oh, that's the backside. I had to cut the design down because of sizing for my neck, but so stretchy. I love it. I think it's super cute. Purses. I can get it away from all the other ones. And it's got a little breathing room and everything. It's really cute. I like it. I have to take these off. Mm, there we go. This is cute though. Alright. Another cuff of old beads. Um, just not quite cute enough to trade. I would feel bad giving it to somebody because of the craftsmanship. But it's got little stars. There's a Morty bracelet I started to make for a trade, and I realized it was too small, and then I changed my mind on the whole, like, theme of the trade I was giving. Oh, this is my first candy necklace that I ever made. Because I had, I had devil earrings, and I lost one of them, so I turned the charm into a choker. I have a thing for chokers and things that fit like that, and black and green, if you couldn't tell. Here is one of my newer ones. This is... A little toy I got in a trade, and so I turned it into a cuff. This is from Jade. <laughs> I like her. She's cool. <laughs> um, I love this bracelet so much. And that's that. That's that on that. Not on the whole video. This is a base for a Mickey cuff if I ever sell my Depop one. Oh, I guess I should put it on. X base cuff I need to recycle. <laughs> Here is a white DNA cuff. I hesitate to call it a cuff. I don't know. I mean, technically it is. 
Gudetama. Not much there. Here's a little star bracelet. I guess I could trade it, but I like it. I can always make more. If I really miss it that dearly, this goes with my Hello Kitty set. Here's another X base I just don't like. It needs to be recycled. This is off on my Depop. It's a graveyard at sunset, but the sunset is purple. I think it's really cute. Here's an original design. This is my watermelon cuff. It's actually cuter in the old beads. Oh, that's a cat hair. Sorry. Another star. Two stars. Polaroid Baby, which is a song that I like and not just a nickname. <laughs> This one says Frog Lover. It's a little bit small. That's why I changed it to Froggy Lover. Mm -hmm. More Baby Yoda earrings. This is the same as that other Dollar Tree bracelet I showed you. Ideal, based off of the Seekers Ideal album. It's their colors. Uh, for my birthday, because of COVID, I did it online in Minecraft, and I sent everybody packages, and I gave them all a little figure, and... Um, I put my figure, mine is Alex with a cake, because, you know, it's my birthday. I put it on a cuff. Looks pretty cute. I don't normally use brown, but I think it matches her. You can see... Oh, I'm so shaky right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's a keyblade I made I'm actually pretty proud of. It's got the little Mickey charm. Alright. I'm gonna see speed through the last of these. I was trying to get all the cuffs up. Yeah, there's a cute few more cuffs. Here's a even stitch peyote. There's it's not even cat hair. I don't know what that was. Even stitch peyote. I really like. Uh, the original frog lover bracelet that I made back when I didn't even have like normal string and stuff is real fun to make though. I remember being really happy with it. Oh, one of my only upper arm candy is this one, which goes, I was just following a pattern, it's not supposed to be upper candy, but I, may, I was following a pattern that ended up being way too big for me, so it goes on my arm. <laughs> Actually, I'll leave it there. Um, strawberry cuff, I don't like it, it needs to be recycled, this ugly thing. Bye, gross cuff. Another cat. This is a ladder one. I don't like to make ladder stitch just because they take so long and they take so much string. Deku. This is the last of the bracelets I'm making for my little sister. Just a little Deku one. Um. Oh, these are some gorgeous earrings I need to put up on my shop. Evil eye earrings. I always thought that Evil Eye couldn't be the name because they're not evil eyes, but then I done learned. Okay. <laughs> Cinema Roll. Trans Pride, we finally found it. This is Oh Superman, a song that I love by Laurie Anderson. Um, Bad Blood, which is an album by Bastille. I only really like their earlier stuff. Here's another groovy bracelet. This one goes with my Agatha. I'm really speeding through these. This is my Valentine's set. A little, they're really cute actually. Little hearts facing each other. So I'll give you a second to look at those, and now the second's over. I'll trade this one away. It's flowers with little pearls in the center. We're next Columbus. This is a Moo bracelet that goes with my cuff. Another We're next Columbus. I use, I call them oil spill beads. I think they're really cool. Um, I believe I got some of them from the Dollar Tree at one point, which is pretty cool. This is one of the first bracelets I made, Ringtone by 100 Gex. It was for a friend and then we weren't friends. <laughs> Froggy Lover, back when I didn't even have matching letter beads. 
um, purple Agatha, earrings, and then stupid horse and get, 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 I have those in purple and green. Um, and here's just a double, a double single <laughs> rainbow. This is, sorry, I'm caught up in the string. This is a Jewish Star of David, as I am Jewish, and this is a flower ring. Uh, a bunny single, this is for trading, a flower ring for bigger fingers, um, just in case, a dead Kennedy's bracelet I've made. This has to be the first single I made. I made it at a friend's house, and it has a little clasp on it, and it's not even that good. It's on non-stretchy string. But I, I had a design, thought it was nice. This is for trading, I don't know why it's here. Okay. We are done with that big bag. Holy hell. So from here on out, you're not really going to be seeing any singles. Um, yeah, no singles, I think. Um, if I do see one, I'm sorry. And I will show you. Oh, there are... I do have some singles to show, I'm really sorry about it, about lying to you. And my feet are falling asleep, oh jeez. I'm wearing shorts, don't worry. Don't stress it. Oh, my feet hurt. How long have I- 30 minutes. <sighs> okay, I do an Emo Miku cosplay, Hatsune Miku. I do like an emo candy kid version of her. I don't really cosplay much anymore, but I do have those urges sometimes. So I'm gonna put these on real quick and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but I've got like this black dress I put her in and everything. I got a Miku wig from Goodwill for $4. I hope the cosplayer didn't die because that would be very tragic, but I did get it very cheap, and that's the only reason I cosplayed her. Like, it wasn't... I'm not even the hugest fan of Vocaloid. I like it. It's just not my thing. Um, this was actually traded to me by Jade as well. I love it very much. This is a shiny bead in the center. Um, but I used it for my Miku cosplay, as well as this skull cuff. It's kind of big, but I wear arm warmers with it, and so... These are my Miku candies. I keep in this bag. That Jade also sent me. I sniffed it because she put perfume on all the stuff she sent me. And everything smells like vanilla. It's really nice. <laughs> you know, I may make this video public, and at the very least, I hope I'm good background noise. I know you're not intently watching this video, whoever it is, unless it's me from the future. That's what this was intended for to see how much my collection has grown, but Jesus, it's grown already. I'll show you the stuffed animals in a second. Spoilers. Okay, this was the original watermelon cuff I made. I'm just gonna take that off real quick. And then I have a series of, not this one. I'm making My Little Pony ones. I have the entire set. Um, I just still need to make Applejack and Pinkie Pie. That's why this was my first attempt at a Pinkie Pie and then I didn't quite like how it turned out. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but this is a UFO cuff for Rarity. This is for Fluttershy, and I actually have little stars right here, right here. <laughs> she looks like she's strapped down. Um, and then my Rainbow Dash one obviously is rainbow all the way around. And then here she is. It's a UFO cuff, and... This is a double X base Alicorn Twilight, which I think is really cute. Um, it's one of my bigger ones. It's very sturdy, but like in a good way, not in a can't put it on way. So I keep those on a little rack that I got at Michael's. And then this is my little friend, Ham and Cheese Melt. I have him strapped on by some ribbon and it's just a single X base, but I got him on a trip with my boyfriend and I wanted to put him on a cuff. <laughs> Okay, 
This is for trading. I don't know why it was down there. This is up on my shop. It's just a daisy chain. If you can see that. I have a feeling if I cover my face, the camera. No? There we go. Um, yeah, I have that. And then this one that I told you I had a cuff to match. It says Vamp Girl. Matches this, which is a rotator cuff that's up on my shop. Got it stuck on my finger, sorry. Um, it's pretty cool. I made it just for fun one day. I think it's really nice. It's really nice and fun. I have, I should show you instead of just leaning down and putting my forehead in your face. I have oh, this rack. Maybe I could go down the line. This is a really cute green and pink one. I guess I could trade it away. This is my original design disc cuff. So, looks like a disc. It's really cool. Um, there's singles to match. This is my original design froggy, who I love so dearly. He's got those 3D eyes. And then this is so cool. It's a watermelon cuff. Uh, it's a little bit big for me. I can wear it on my ankle, funny enough, because <laughs> I'm I'm 30 beads around and this one's 33. Um, here is my wings one. This is an eyeball one I made out of old beads, and I really would like to remake it with nice beads. And then I'll save this one for last. Don't look. <laughs> this is a black rainbow DNA. You saw the white version. This one's up on my shop. It's just a black and pink X base. And then I have... This one's just for me. It's a double X. Um, double X base. With green around the sides. I think it's pretty cool. This one's just a pastel X base. Rainbow going around. And then this... Is my biggest piece it weighs over a pound and it is my mega frog rotator so it's two ufo cuffs to hold it in place and then this is a oh actually i'm sorry this and twilight both are triple x base cuffs with a second layer on top so this thing is massive um rotates like a beauty and this is what it looks like on it looks like astro boy <laughs> I do love it though, I love it very much. Mm -hmm. I'll put that back down. And now, I'll go through my plushies. I only have two, this is my frog one. That I think is really cute. He's got Easter feet and a little flower. This is a green bracelet that I put on his neck and then a little flower necklace and a flower bracelet for him, and then this is my Plur Panda, who I love very much. You can see I recycled one of those charms already. It's got a flower cuff, and then this says Plur Panda, and little, it's got little unicorns on the ears, and stripies on the feet. I love Plur Panda very much. It goes in that, that spot right there. And now, after 38 minutes, 32 seconds, the candy I've been traded. I'm going to, I'll finish it with the necklaces. And I will start with Jade's. This one that I love. Um, this was, <gasps> it had to have come like that because I'm very careful with these, but I think the pearler is coming off. But it's a rainbow dash, which I think is really cute. I trade with a lot of younger people. So I am grateful for what I get. <laughs> This one's not very stretchy, but it's a little ladder cup. I think it's great, actually. I think this one's so cool. It's got hearts in between. Does this rotate? No, but it's so cool. I love this one. Ugh. Again, it doesn't really stretch. This one says Punk's Not Dead. It's a little rotating single. This one's pretty cool. I have another big... These are, these are both from the same person. Another big cuff. I don't really wear things with like that, but I keep this one in my box of <laughs> not to share because I don't give away things that I've been traded. Um, I don't really wear stuff like this, but I keep it in the box. This is a little heart cuff I was, I was given, I was traded. 
I haven't been given any of these except maybe a couple. This oh, this is a little keychain. I was traded with a fun, fun thing at the bottom. I don't know what that is, but look at that. Isn't that cute? I want to put it on something, but I don't know what yet. This one I got pretty recently. Here is this is I, I should wait. I should wait on Jade's stuff. Here's a Kuropi one. I do love frogs. I've gotten a lot of frog stuff. Um, this one says MCR, which is interesting. I didn't tell them I liked MCR, but they just made it anyway. I guess I get off that vibe. Um, I'm picking out all the ones that say frog. <laughs> this one says Pinky, Pinkie Pie, and it's got little, like, balloons. It's so cute. Oops, this goes over here. This is, nope, don't look at that. This one says Plur. I love the stuff that I've been traded, I really do. This one says Neo, which is my name online, and I would like it to be my name, but I don't know if that's just a now thing. I think it'd be cool, and I think it would suit me a lot better than Bella. Uh, here's this. Which I think is pretty cute. Pink and green, can't go wrong. This one's black and red, it has a heart on it. This one's pink and green again with a star on it. This one says Rasher, which is my favorite, um, my favorite Animal Crossing character. This is a very big one, but it's got a unicorn charm. I can't believe they gave this to me. Look at that. It's so cool. Like, people are really the best. This one was from one of my first trades. It says Plur. I do all of my trading through Depop right now just because COVID and whatnot. This is, I believe, from Damien, I want to say. Um, so cool. One of my favorite, favorite cups I've ever been traded. Here's a little star crown I got. <laughs> it doesn't really stay on, but it's all right. I have Dead Kennedys. And Descendants, two of my favorite bands. This one just has Punk, which is from the same person. Um, love it so much. This is a ladder, ladder stitch um, rainbow one. And then I have two ladder stitch green and magenta, which I actually think are pretty cool. I mean, I know they're simple, but I like them. This one says Hugs. And this one may have been from Jade, I don't know. I think this gives me Jade vibes. I've traded with her multiple times. Um, here's a little dragonfly, which I think is so cute. And I'm quickly running out of room. I've already got them piling onto the, <sighs> onto the side. I must take them off. This is the first piece I was ever traded from that girl in a Walmart, and it's one of my favorite memories. She was so sweet, she gave me a hug afterwards. Um, this I got in Trade Online. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I thought I heard something. This was a ring that I got. It's pretty big, so I don't wear it a lot. Um, but I do love it. This is, sorry, this is, this says monster. It's an inside joke with, um, my little sister. She made it for me. Here's, I think it's supposed to be gay pride just because it has the brown and black. I can't tell. Um, another MCR bracelet. So much of that. <laughs> this one's so cool. I don't know where they got these beads, but these are so these are the coolest. This is, again, one of the first trades I ever did. Um, same person. Gave me this little heart. And, oh. These all go together. Pretty self-explanatory. This one says Daddy, made by my little sister. And then, okay. Now we are on to, oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Real quick, there's this necklace made of normal and tri beads. I think it's really cool. Got it in a trade, and now we're onto the jade stuff. <sighs> Love jade, so cool. Um, here, you know what? I'll take off. 
take off the other stuff. And we'll just see what Jade has given me. Oh. I think I already showed you guys, like in this round, I showed you the tri-bead one that she made me, which I love so dearly. Um, sorry, I have a pile of candy next to me. Here it is. So cool. And then she gave me this flower cuff, which is so cute. So, so, so cute. It doesn't stretch very well. I kind of have trouble getting it on, eh. but it fits my wrist pretty good with some like wiggle room. Um, this one says Bella because it's my name. So sweet. This one says Buttercup. I don't know if I remind her of Buttercup, but I didn't say anything about it. She's my favorite Powerpuff girl. This is Neo Candy, which is my name on Depop. This single with pink and green, love it, love it so much. Um, and then these three are all like really nice. Sometimes I'm afraid to wear them out because they're so beautiful, um, but I keep them and I treasure them. I really do. And this one says Shaggy. I'm not sure why she chose Shaggy, but I love it. I love it so much. It's got a little, a little melt of him. And then she also gave me a Zoinks necklace. It's pretty long. It says Zoinks. And it matches the Shaggy. And along with necklaces, she gave me this metal one that says Cutie. Um, hers have clasps, which I really appreciate. This pink and green one with a little heart. Again, I I just I'm so in love with everything she makes me. Sorry. <laughs> um this one's green. No. <laughs> this one's orange. It reminds me of mac and cheese again. Not a complaint. I love mac and cheese, and I love these colors. I think they're so cute. Um, that gem in the center, so, so beautiful. And I wish I had a million gems to give to her. This is a flower, flower choker. Which again, love it. <laughs> and last, this is what inspired me to make my, my froggy candy. She gave me this, and it smells so good. It still does. Um, it's this great necklace. Ooh. And the softest little bear, and I love it. I love it so much. This is all stuff that Jade has given me. And I think she's the coolest. I think whoever's watching this is the coolest, even if it's just me from the future. And um, I love you all very much. <laughs> did it with myself um yeah i hope you're having a good day i hope you enjoyed seeing all my candy for 48 minutes jesus christ okay bye <laughs>